A New York City school program dedicated to helping kids learn confidence through the game of chess has a new champion, Mary Angel Vargas, an 11-year-old migrant from Colombia whose family fled the country after getting death threats from gang members. Mary Angel's coach says she learned the game after arriving in the U.S. last year. She's already ranked near the top 100 players in her age group. Joining us tonight is Mary Angel and her coach, Russ Makovsky, who oversees the chess programs at schools across the city. Thanks for being with us tonight, guys. Yeah. Mary Angel, how are you liking New York City? You arrived here one year ago. How do you like being here in New York City? Mm, it feels good. It uh, feels good. More confident. You're more confident? Yeah. Be because you're playing chess? Yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. I mean, she's already a champion. And, and you think about chess, a game that has no language barriers. And in a lot of ways for migrant children, uh, it's a refuge. Talk about how your program is helping kids. Yeah, sure. So um, overnight, there was a huge influx of Spanish-speaking students into the New York City public schools. And uh, after speaking to the principal, we found that chess would be a helpful way to get them something to plug into that was a universal language that had educational benefits and social benefits immediately. So we're able to teach 200 kids um, through the public school program. And Mary Angel became our star program. We met her on the first day, and um, she's played ever since. 50 tournaments. She got seventh at the New York State All Girls Championship in her division. And um, she's getting ready, prepared to play at the All Girls Nationals in Chicago um, this coming April. Wow. You were saying that she <laughs> has the ability to go the distance. I mean, she really could be one of the best players in the country, if not the world. Correct. I've worked with a lot of kids. She's hardworking. Um, she's extremely passionate about the game. When she loses, mm -hmm. you know, she has that passion that she's upset. She cares a lot about the game. She's so, extremely intelligent. And when she plays the game, you can see in her eyes, she's the focus and maturity well beyond her years. So if she sticks with it, um, I see her being one of the top players in the United States um, very quickly. And right now, she's around 50 for all girls her age in the United States, and I can see her continue to rise very quickly. Mary Angel, what do you like about chess when you play? Um... When I'm winning. When you're oh. winning. <laughs> She's got the mindset of a champion. And I, I had read that she hadn't played chess prior to coming to the United States. So, I mean, what does that tell you? So exactly. So I think chess provided um, a home away from home, a safe space mm -hmm. for her to meet people and to, to be good at something and to create an, an intellectual identity in, um, in her community. And um, the coach, Rydeli, who's the champion of Dominican, has taught her every step of the way and they're, they're, they're guiding her. And I think... Um, she's extremely talented, and we're extremely excited to see um, where she goes from here. Yeah. Well, the next you were saying the next tournament that you have is in Chicago. Are you ready to go to Chicago? <laughs> yeah. When is that tournament coming it's gonna up? Be, it's going to be in April, and she's currently she practices about two hours a day. She tells me, and she plays on Saturdays every Saturday, wow. and she has her chess club throughout the week as well. So you're are, amazing. Are you playing yeah. against your dad or your brother or your sister? Um, my brother. Yeah. Or or <laughs> my dad. Are you are you beating them? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it's pretty incredible. Um, talk a little bit, too, about this program and, sure. and a, also a little bit about her backstory, too, because just kind of in that intro reading it, I mean, Correct. she's had a really difficult yeah. life. So they fled uh, Colombia. Mm -hmm. um, they were able to get to um, Mexico. From there, made the, the trip over uh, um, into the United States. And mm -hmm. then, I guess, we're bused here into uh, Midtown Manhattan. And she ended up in one of the uh, shelters here and in the, the local public school where um, she currently is. And the program, you know, I, I believe chess is a universal language. It's a low-cost tool that can create opportunity. And like I was saying, we're committed to donating a million chess sets globally by 2030. Wow. We've reached all of Africa last year. And it's interesting, we're going to be going to Central, South, and Latin America, going to Colombia, going to some of these countries that are here now, and giving them chess sets so they can create chess clubs and educational opportunities in their own country with the gift of chess, the gift of chess.org. And we believe that chess can provide value to kids and find talent in some of the most unlikely of places through the game of chess. Well, That's absolutely. incredible. It's amazing. Well, congratulations. Best of luck on your upcoming tournament. And thank, thank you. you so much for joining us. Will you Thanks. come back when you've <laughs> taken over?